audio is still bad, and it will be in the next episode, but then it'll be fine in the one after that. Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. We've just proven that Matt on guard hired Shelly the Killer, and he's shown why he hides his right eye, as well as pulling a glass of... I'm presuming that's whiskey? But it's not in the uh, usual glass you'd use for that. Well done, Mr. Wright. I bet it wasn't easy to gather as much information as you have. You really? So you really are Shelley DeKiller's client. <laughs> You didn't really think I would dirty my own hands in this, did you? What, what do you mean? That woman, Adrian, was cry quite brave herself. Trying to stick the crime on me. I didn't think she had it in her. But all I care about is that Juan is dead. Isn't that right, Mr. Lawyer? Th that's... You're lying! What a terrible... It's way past your bedtime, little girl. Go on and let us grown-ups talk about more adult things. But why? Why did you hide the video camera and... A weakling soon believes the words of others, just like that pathetic Adrian. He knew about her secret. But I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone. Least of all assassins. What? Oh, come now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. They turn their clients into cash cows by holding their sinful deed over their heads. And a superstar like me? How much do you think I'm worth? Care to guess? And... and that's why... Yes, that's where the video comes in. It's got his face and the crime scene recorded on it. Preserved for all time. With that, I can keep him at bay. And even blackmail him if I want. That's right, that video is my insurance. Isn't that what they call it, Mr. Wright? Why would you do something so wrong? Because I'm a grown-up, and I can. Good enough of an answer for you, little girl. Why? Why would you kill Mr. Karita? Because he was about to sling so much dung into my public e e Even bad guys stutter sometimes. Because he was about to sling so much dung onto my beautiful public image. Scandals are a little annoying, aren't they? This is all because of that press conference, isn't it? If Mr. Karita had been able to give it, then Mr. On God's secret would have... Oh well, that's what we call taking advantage of the situation, you know? I had no interest in doing it, really, but bit by bit it crept up on me. And then the situation just presented itself perfectly. How beautiful, I thought. And that's... that's how Mr. Karita ended up dead? Let me tell you something. I'm not like Adrian. I don't depend on anyone. People are simply things to be used. Used and thrown away. Put on a sweet, innocent face, and people will swallow anything you feed them. Adrian fell for it. The assassin too. Oh, and how can I forget? Even you fell for it, Mr. Lawyer. 
Everyone all working their butts off for me. Matt on guard. Aw, oh, did that leave you speechless? What a shame. What's wrong, Mr. Lawyer? You've grown awfully quiet. How could I have been so deceived by you all this time? When we first met, I asked if you had killed Juan Carita. And you answered very clearly that you hadn't killed anyone. Hey now, I never told you any lies. The person who did the killing was that to kill a guy, right? All I'm guilty of is taking a catnap in my room. You... You... You killed Mr. Carita! <laughs> I dare you to say that in court tomorrow. <sighs> Aw, oh, but too bad. You can't. You're my lawyer, after all, aren't you? You could always drop my case and refuse to represent me. How does that sound? Aw, oh, but you can't, can't you? That would be the one thing you absolutely can't do. M Mystic Maya. You wouldn't want to test to kill her. He's a man of his word. Or so I hear. You could end up getting a certain friend of yours rubbed out if you lose. You... you scoundrel! So if I were you, Mr. Wright Esquire, I think I would give it my all tomorrow. Remember, everyone likes a happy win-win resolution. I... I'll get you for this! That's such a cliché phrase. Juan said something like that, if my memory serves. Of course. Well, we all know how things turned out for him, don't we? Good night, Mr. Lawyer. Maya. Maya, what am I supposed to do? And now, now you finally found it. The starting line of this case. Edgeworth. I don't care for the horrid atmosphere here. Let's return to the precinct. Well, Mr. Wright, what are you going to do? If you plan on changing your strategy... N no We can't do that! That's right. He's holding Maya hostage. What? What should I do? That's not something I can answer for you. M mr Edgeworth? Right. Only you can decide where to go from here. One year ago, at that time, I didn't truly understand what a prosecutor was. And that is why I had to leave the prosecutor's office. I felt that I couldn't stand until in a court of law until I knew what a prosecutor really was. And now, right, it's your turn. My turn? What is this thing called a lawyer? What can you do as one? You must find the answer, and you must find it on your own. You're talking about the truth, right? But, but I can't. Maya... I'm a lawyer, but to fight for someone who is clearly a killer? Matt on guard? That man is really... Ugh. It doesn't matter who 
Every person deserves a proper defense and a fair trial. Isn't that the basis of our judicial system? Proper defense? But what exactly is that? Is it where a lawyer forcibly and blindly gets an acquittal through shouting and trickery? <laughs> Ironic that you of all people should say such a thing. Isn't that exactly how you have fought for your clients up until now? Uh... W well that may be true, but that's... That's because I've believed my clients to be innocent from the bottom of my heart. But I... If I were to get on guard an acquittal, that... That isn't a proper defense at all! I became a lawyer because I thought... I thought I could save people who are suffering and in pain. But... When I look at this mess we're in, I can't even protect the person closest to me. Even if I win the case, I still lose in the end. I just don't know what to do! Right. Would you get a hold of yourself? You have it all wrong. Huh? We aren't some sort of heroes. We're only human, you and I. You want to save someone? That's something easier said than done, wouldn't you say? Th that's You are a defense attorney. You can't run away from that. You can only fight. That's all you can do. People like you and Francisca von Karma are always using all you have to pin me down. You fight to the very end even when you know the truth is not with you. But I'm not like you. I can't fight for a false verdict for a man I clearly know to be guilty. Francisca. She fights for herself. The only thing she fights for is her perfect win record, that's all. And isn't that the same as you? Isn't that why you ran away a year ago? Because your precious win record was destroyed? You're so petty. I see. Now I understand why you despise me so. However, you are mistaken. What do you... Thanks to you, when you sealed off my path to a perfect win record, I began to realize the error of my ways. I realized that things such as a perfect record were meaningless. What? I don't believe you. Are you saying that is why you left the prosecutor's office? But then, why? Why are you here now? The answer to that is something you will find out on your own. I have faith you will see it before the verdict is read tomorrow. But if you can't, then you will be powerless to change the ending of this story. <clears throat> Excuse me, Edgeworth. I have to take this. M Mr. Nick, the transceiver. I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Now then, Mr. Attorney, do you wager you can obtain an acquittal tomorrow? My, my, what is the matter, Mr. Attorney? I don't sense your usual anger this time. Tell me. Please. Why are you holding Maya hostage for Mr. On Guard's sake? 
Why are you... Why are you doing this for that cold-blooded killer? Right? Please don't misunderstand things. He is my client. Don't toy with me. A man who hires an assassin is just as much of a killer himself. I believe you were asking me for a reason as to why I am doing what I am. Y yeah. This is what I like to call my aftercare. What the heck is aftercare in this context? I know what it is in a different context, but let's not go into that right now. My name carries a certain amount of honor and dignity, Mr. Attorney. I take great care to ensure that no suspicion falls upon my clients for my handiwork. This is what is called client relations, and it is a part of an assassin's duty. An assassin's... duty? We were unlucky this time, and my client was arrested as a suspect. As a result, I did what I had to to enlist your expert help, Mr. Attorney. And to ensure that you would do everything in your power to the very end. Wh what is your name? I believe I told you once before, however, you did, but my name is Da Killer. Shelly Da Killer? Y you're Shelly Da Killer? Please keep in mind you do not have much space to maneuver with me. As a Da Killer, I will always finish what I set out to do. If you fail to keep up your end of the bargain... M Maya. It would be my duty as an assassin to see it to it that she receives a nice long nap. <laughs> no! Now then, if you'll excuse me. If someone were to trace this signal back to me, it would be quite troublesome. Hey, uh, what was that last bit? Da killer. Did I hear... a cat? Meow? At the end of your call? That's, um... weird. Uh... Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! I don't know what to say. Edgeworth. Hmm? Did you hear that? The end of the transmission. Huh? Oh, that. It sounded like a cat. A cat? It can't be. That cat. Can it? What is it? I think... I know where Shelly DeKilla is holding Maya hostage. Edgeworth, have all police units head for On Guard Mansion immediately. All right, you hurry over as well then. Don't lose hope yet, pearls. The fight has only just begun. Y yeah. Quickest way is via the lobby. I think. <sighs> Maya, please answer us, Mystic Maya. We have this area completely surrounded. There is no way for him to escape. Assuming he's still in the area. Can't believe it. That butler. All this time he was the killer. I should have recognized him. He and Don Guard were working together all this time. I'm sure they had worked out a contingency plan ahead of time. We need to get through this door. There's a small door at the bottom of this bigger door, Mr. Nick, but it's for the cat. Oh, it's a figurine of a bear, but there are a lot of cuts in it for some reason. A bear? Isn't that more of a thing for Mr. Karita? 
Why would something like this be here? Right, look down. There's a little pet door installed here. Ah, oh, I'm sure that's for sure. Do you think that this came through that little door? Oof, this door, it's locked. Well, I'm pretty used to breaking doors down by now. Let's go, Edgeworth. Just two masculine men breaking down a door. Ugh, there's no one here. From the looks of this room, I would say this is on guard's private lounge. Look at this, right? An antennae for sending and receiving radio signals. And a VCR. Check inside the deck. If there's a tape, it would be an important piece of evidence. If we're lucky, it'll have the moment the crime was re committed recorded on it. I'm sorry, but... The tape deck is empty. There's no tape to be found. No. But there's no mistake that someone used this to record something. Looks like someone took the tape we're looking for and escaped with it. Damn it. Maya? We've searched all over, but it looks like he got away. I'm sorry. It looks like he slipped out of our grasp this time. And now, we've lost our only lead. Don't give up yet. That little girl is looking to you to be her pillar. Yeah, you're right. We're close, I can tell. We've already set up checkpoints along every route leading out of this district. Leave the rest to us. Maya... Before I leave... Looks like a picture of Ms. Inpax. With love, Celeste. Ms. Inpax, you mean? Yes, Mr. Karita's former manager. Why would a picture of Ms. Zinpax be here in Mr. In on Guard's mansion? And why does it say with love? This might be a clue. Ah! What's wrong, Pearls? P please let me see that picture frame. What's so special about it? On the back, there's something written on the back of the frame. Maya! It's Mystic Maya! She left us a message. W what? I thought you'd come. I knew you would. Now listen up. You better get on guard a guilty sentence, okay? If you get that creepy slime bag and not guilty, I'll never forgive you. Ever. I'm fine, so you don't need to worry. There's so much I want to write, but I don't think I have a lot of time left. Pearly, you're there too, right? Make sure you help Nick, okay? Someone's gotta watch out for the helpless lunk. Um, that's it for now, Nick. I'll talk to you as soon as I... That's... I... No! Mystic Maya! Right. What's wrong? Why the blank stare? Oh, um, nothing. We've searched the house, and this is the last room. It looks like he's eluded us. Edgeworth? Yes? As far as clues go, I think this is about all I'm going to get. But I'm still short one last thing. And what is that? A cyclock on Adrian Andrews. Oh, you don't know what a cyclock is. But if I could find out what secret she's holding... Stand a chance in court tomorrow to blow this case open and expose the truth. I think I know what you're thinking. I'll contact the detention center. Um, thanks, Edgeworth. Well, let's go, pearls. Time to open that last lock. Good evening, Mr. Wright. What's wrong? You look ill. Ms. Andrews, I have come to remove your Cyclock. Cyclock, I want to know, and you will tell me, 
your secret. Fine, go ahead, try to break me if you can. Tell me why you'd want to frame on guard. The suicide of your mentor, of course. That we've been over. However, a relation between Matt and... Oh, I should have gone the other way. I have two full screens of evidence. This... This is a photo of Ms. in Parks, correct? She looks younger than when she passed away, though. What? With love, Celeste. This is her handwriting, isn't it? Where did you find this? No, that's alright. It was a rhetorical question. Yeah, it is. I found this at Mr. On Guard's mansion. And after all this time, my last remaining secret has been revealed. So, Celeste, she was supposed to get married to Juan. Yes, but I heard that it didn't work out. Because Mr. Carita didn't want to get married to her anymore, right? Yes, because of Matt. But because of Mr. On Guard? What do you mean? I think I can see where this is going. Celeste, she was Matt's manager a long time ago. She was the happiest woman in the world at the time. I was working part-time back then, and I often saw the two of them together. So that's why, with love Celeste, is written on the frame of that picture. They were a couple, weren't they? Wasn't anything as splendid as that. Celeste was being used, toyed with, until she was thrown away. That's so horrible. Matt's entire image is built around how nice and wonderful of a man he is. A scandal would have destroyed that. Which is why Celeste in her kindness, moved over to Worldwide Studios, and that is where she met Juan. She seemed really happy with him, even happier than when she was with Matt. Celeste and Juan were such a good match that they were even planning to get married. And then it was suddenly called off. On the night Juan called their marriage off, Celeste, she killed herself. And that's why I framed Matt. It was revenge for Celeste, and for myself. I'm sure even you can guess why Juan called the wedding off, right? Matt confessed to Juan about his relationship with Celeste. I see. So that's what happened. But then why did Mr. Carita have to call off the wedding? I don't understand at all. It was probably because of his worthless male pride. Juan and Matt were always fierce rivals. Matt waited for the wedding announcement and then unleashed the truth on Juan. He was aiming for when it would hurt Juan the most. Poor Miss in Parks. That wasn't the end of it. That day, I'm almost certain that Celeste left a suicide note behind. And in that note, she left a detailed account of Matt's various misdeeds. And, 
so that she would never again be hurt by Matt, she chose to die. That's when Juan discovered her body. He hid her note. But, but why would he do that? It's simple. Juan realized that the note was a powerful weapon against Matt. It would be especially damaging to his refreshing like a spring breeze image. In any case, with his pride hurt, Juan sought revenge. Revenge. There's that word again. Juan wanted to publicly disclose the contents of the suicide note. At a time that would cause the most damage, of course. And that was at the press conference after the stage show. I know all about it because I heard it all from Juan. I was, it was so I could find out all about this that I drew close to Juan to begin with. They're quite a pair of hideous monsters, aren't they? Even Celeste's death was something for them to use in their game. That night when I found Juan's body, it was only natural that I thought the murderer was Matt. Those two were always spying on one another after all. As for me, I was frantically searching for Celeste's suicide note. I wanted to destroy it before it ever went public. I was going to burn it. I had even brought a lighter. But, I couldn't find the suicide note. And that's when revenge crossed my mind. Yes, I was going to bring to them my own cruel kind of revenge. Celeste was killed by those two monsters, so when I stabbed Juan's body with that knight, knight, when I stabbed Juan's body that night with that knife, I didn't feel a shred of guilt. Eh. And that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say for this episode. Thank you for the confession, Miss Andrews. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.